Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Thursday the 25th of May. I'm Nigel Croft. In this video we'll be looking at four stocks that have been in the news this week. Two in the UK, Tate and Lyle which has come out with figures this morning. Slight disappointment to the market. The shares are coming back but we'll see from the charts it's fallen into support. And in the UK we'll also look at Fever Tree. Uh, where last night there was a secondary offering from management as hit the shares today. We'll see that the massive bull run we've had in that share looks a bit wobbly looking at the charts. And in the US, we'll look at two stocks that this week have launched convertible bond offerings. ServiceNow uh, launched a, a large £750 million convertible at zero coupon very rare for the US market. The shares have moved higher and look very good technically. And we'll also look at Lending Tree, uh, which also had uh, a smaller convertible bond, off bond offering, 200 million. Uh, the shares, which is natural on a convertible offering, have, have just eased slightly. And we'll look at the charts on that as well. <music> So starting with Tate and Lyle and you can see here from the daily chart that we've had a consolidation today um, but it's coming back into support. <clears throat> you can just about make out the 20 and the 50 day moving average which are both at about the just well the 20 days 772 spot 45 and the 50 days at 771.89 so both very similar levels and they are they have given support this morning uh, on the initial sell-off after the figures at the open we did move below those moving averages but we're back above them which is a good sign and the fact they're both moving upwards is also a good sign and the fact that they're together and moving upwards is a very good sign um, I don't think um, they're gonna be a breach to the downside these support should hold and um, I mean, actually, this this chart does look does look good on this consolidation today. Looking at the RSI, you can see that we were in positive momentum before today. That's somewhat been lost. However, if we can tick higher, we'd still be in an uptrend, and it still is marginally above the 50 at 50.57. Likewise, on the MACD, we were starting to flash a buy signal. Uh, today's falls kind of neutralize that, but if we do tick up um, over the next couple of days, that buy signal will be uh, reinvigorated and we would see uh, further moves to the upside. Looking at the weekly chart, and here you can see we have got some small resistance um, from October. Uh, just above the 800 level um, but really there's there's nothing to stop us moving up there uh, the moving averages are all moving up apart from the 200 day uh, but that will start to if we hold at the present levels that will turn around quite quickly RSI is at 60 and the MACD although flatlining are, are above zero on the four hour chart Obviously, you can see the fall today. That's taken us down to the 54 hour moving average where we found the support. Uh, we're down below the 20. That will start to roll over. Um, you can see that the RSI has gone back below 50 and that the MACD short term gone back below the long term. So not such a good picture here from the four hour. Um, the 204 hour and the 50 are the key. Uh, let's see if they hold. Uh, but this could be a, the start of a deterioration. But as I said, on the daily, the picture does, does still look all right. On the support resistance levels on Tate, uh, got resistance at 796.5 and then that resistance I mentioned at 809. With the support, well, I've done the 50 day here, but as I did, uh, as you, you can just uh, scroll back and see what I said on the 20. 50 day when I did these uh, levels was 771.89 with the second support at 764. On Fever Tree, you can see that on the daily that last night's sale by management has hit the shares. 
uh, we were in a solid uptrend. We're now towards the lower boundary of that uptrend and we're trading on the 20 day uh, bang on at the moment, which is at 16.71. Well, we're marginally below, we're trading at 16.68. Massive volume, obviously, today, uh, given the uh, the sale last night. Uh, RSI has, has tracked down. Uh, looks like we could be about to create a downtrend, and the MACD as well are tracking down. Um, both of these kind of indicating that this uptrend may be about to be broken and that would be confirmed if we did move down to below the 50 day moving average at 1580 well 1585 on the weekly and obviously you can see since the IPO uh, this has been a, a stock to own um, there's not a lot of signs here yet that the trend has broken uh, the RSI is still at 79, MACD still showing positive momentum. On the four hour chart, um, here the RSI has gone back below 50, uh, MACD, although the short term is still above the long term, uh, they're tracking towards each other, uh, finding support on the chart at the 54 hour moving average. Um, I would say looking at this, the 1600 level looks key, uh, key support down there. And looking at the support resistances on Fever Tree, resistance 1760, 1798.1, with the support at that 50 day at 84.78, and then support at 1480. Moving over to America, ServiceNow did a zero coupon 750 convertible bond this week. Shares moved up, uh, which is a surprise on a convertible bond offering as the hedges uh, usually are selling stock as they, as they buy the convertible. So it's a good sign we've moved up. Uh, got very positive momentum. Um, Perhaps we're getting overextended from the moving averages, but on any consolidation, the picture would remain positive. And actually, the MACD have just um, shouted a buy signal as the short term has gone above the long term again. On the weekly, uh, you can see we're, we're moving into new high ground. Again, perhaps marginally overextended, but the RSI and MACD indicative of positive momentum and um, any sideways move will, will soon be followed by further upside progress. On the four hour, and there's not even any signs of any loss of momentum here, the RSI 72 and the MACD just started to flash a buy signal again. Again, slightly overextended from the uh, moving averages, but you just go with the flow on this. It does look a good uh, chart on all measures, daily, weekly, and the four hour. Looking at the uh, support resistances, and there's no resistance, we're in new high ground. Support comes in at the 20 day, 97.68, and at 95.5. Finally, moving on to Lending Tree, and here on the daily. Um, you can see there has been a consolidation on the convertible bond offering and higher volume. That's only natural. Um, we are coming back to into support, which is good. Um, the RSI remains uh, positive, 68.44. MACD are tracking sideways. Um, again, slightly overextended from the moving averages, but they're all moving up and will give support. So any con any further consolidation will prove short-lived on the daily. Looking at the weekly, and you can see we're at new high ground virtually. Um, again, slightly overextended from the moving averages, but again, the RSI and the MACD indicative of positive momentum. And on the four hour, um, you can see the slight pullback from high ground, um, perhaps marginally um, we're getting a slight negative coming out of the RSI as a non-confirmation. The high that we've had has been on a lower RSI 
Uh, so starting to get a downtrend build in there and the MACD as well indicating that downside momentum is building. So perhaps starting to say that we're going to have a little consolidation. But as I said, on the daily, any consolidation is welcome. Let the moving averages catch up and then we'll move again into new high ground. And looking at the support resistance levels, resistance 158.45 and then at the high 159.75 with support 149.77 and 144.10. So that's been TA for traders looking at some stocks that have been in the news this week. I hope you found the video of interest. If you're not a subscriber to TA for traders, do please click that subscribe button. Um, I'm coming out with videos on, on a nearly daily basis. Um, this week's been a bit slow. I've been playing a tennis tournament. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching TA for traders. Please remember these videos are for educational purposes only and are not an investment recommendation. Please do read the disclaimer. Thank you.